Remember how fast Mac Jones walked down the hallway after he was taken on draft night? It sounds like he's coming even faster for that QB1 job. Already this week, Patriots offensive tackle Trent Brown said Mac Jones can be special. And Brown is a veteran who's been around this league. This isn't some rookie talking nonsense here. Mac Jones is clearly showing something in camp. And then we get word from ESPN's Mike Reese that tonight, Mac Jones and Cam Newton are expected to play. Which means Bill Belichick is planning to do some serious evaluating, some serious pondering about his quarterback position. Yeah, I know. Belichick has previously said that Newton is his starter. But you know he wouldn't be running Tom Brady out there tonight if Brady was still a Patriot. We all knew it wasn't Cam's job long-term in New England, but it's looking more and more like it might not be his job in the short term either. We're going to take a wait-and-see approach. Wait and see. But from what we're seeing right now and how things are looking, Mac Jones is coming already. Mm. When do you think you'll know the decision? I had no idea. <laughs> and qu question for Coach. Um, I think in, in all these things and in this training camp, is it's a control that you can control, and uh, that's been my mindset from day one. You know, so I'm I'm out here competing with myself, trying to get better every day. Hold on, hold on. Taysom Hill doesn't know if he's playing with the first team yet. That doesn't sound good to me. Does it sound good to you? Wasn't this guy supposed to be the man? The guy Sean Payton signed to a damn four-year, $140 million contract this offseason? I know. Only about $12 million of that is guaranteed this year. But Jameis Winston isn't getting paid anything near that much money. Taysom Hill is being paid to be the starter. A difference maker. And he hasn't even won the job outright yet? From Jameis Winston? Now, let's be honest. It isn't like Taysom Hill is some young guy learning the offense. It's the same offense he's been in his whole career. The same offense he got starts in at quarterback just last year. That was four starts. And Taysom Hill is about to turn 31 years old. In 11 days, 31 years of age. If he even ends up starting for the Saints this year, he'll be one of the oldest starting quarterbacks in the National Football League. So doesn't it have to happen now or never for this guy? I'm just saying, this post-Drew Brees era, it could be very, very ugly for the New Orleans Saints. From Super Bowl contenders every year, a future Hall of Famer under center, to Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston battling it out in the preseason. <sighs> Sorry, New Orleans. I really am. At least you still got some good food down there. I give you credit for that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.